Okay, so as you see from the setup here, we have one light stand. This thing right here is a Nissan battery pack, and I like to use those when I'm shooting outdoors like this in the middle of midday sun because we're going to use a lot of power through that head. We have to, to fight off all of this available light. Now, it may not look like it, but it's very, very bright outside right now. And so the flash typically wouldn't have much of any type of an effect. The reason that I have the snoot on here is because I want to direct the light directly to where I want the shot to be. If I didn't do that, then there would be a beam about that wide that goes out, and all of that power would be lost. The TTL would, of course, record the proper exposure between the subject and the flash, but all of this other flash would go to parts that don't really contribute to the image. And because, as you can see back here, I'm using the Sony 70 to 200 f 2.8 and what that's going to do is that's going to come in really tight I'm at quite a distance away here and that's why I have the flash on an on-camera stand and this right up here is the transmitter of the Sony kit so let's go ahead and roll forward here just a little bit and you can see what the lighting looks like so I'll just go ahead and scrub backwards so this right here you can see that I've got the regular uh, available light and that's kind of how blah it would look and then as we roll forward that's the photo and you can see that it really doesn't look like flash this is the lighting that I want to have for my portraits and you can see the lake kind of running up the back like that so this is the one place that I'm gonna set up once I set up find my camera angle you can see how it goes all the way up and around the lake and then once I find my camera angle I'm gonna bring everybody to that spot and then you can see right here what my camera settings are on. We are at 1 4,000th of a second at f2.8. And that is at ISO 400. Now, 4,000th of a second, of course, is past the range of your typical flash sync. So we need to rely on, up here you can see, high-speed sync. Wide open at f2.8, which allows me to blur out the background and compress the subject and make it very, very flat and then ISO 400 because if we went down slower than that then of course it would require more flash power. If I went to say ISO 200 that would be another uh, stop of flash that it would be required and that would really heat up that flash unit. So that is the setup. Right here what you see is I've got a uh, recorder and so you, n you don't have to really concern yourself with that. That's just for the purposes of shooting this video.